Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the all-new Tomahawk 45 by Lincoln Electric. Uh, so we got our new demo unit in. Uh, we're going to give this thing a shot. So in this video today, we're going to talk about what this thing can do, the options that we can get with it, and then we're going to cut with it. So let's jump right in. Um, I got all the options laid out on the table. So this machine come, came with uh, so torch, ground, consumable kit, uh, shoulder strap, and then obviously a power cord. Um, and it's a 230 plug on there, so 230 only unit. Um, awesome little thing, so it's rated for 5 8 inch of a thick, can sever 3 quarter, um, and recommended half inch plate, uh, steel or aluminum on this unit. Um, but they, this thing just came out, it's replacing their older model, um, so we're going to give it a shot, cut with it. Uh, but I just wanted to go over some of the options that we can get with it, they're pretty cool. Um, so we have a circle cutting guide, we'll link all this stuff down below. Uh, but this is in a nice package comes with everything you need to do to cut circles with there. Um, it's got all the tools inside, all the, the bars that go together and tell you how to put everything together. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, nice little feature to have. There's a cover for it. I'm going to show you here in just a second how that goes on. There's a cover and then there's also this pretty cool side satchel bag. It goes off to the side. I'll show you guys what, what that thing fits. But let's dive into some of the options on this. So, uh, and this front screen, so they came out, it's got an LCD display. Um, you got your air pressure control, your control knob, your back button, and then your purge to purge the gas. Uh, so you can see up top it says 230 volt, that's what we have. PSI, we're at about 75 right now. We gotta turn our air compressor on, but we got some air con to the back of it. And then we got 45 amps all the way down to 15 amps on this unit. So to change, so this thing will do expanded metal, metal and gouging. So you go into the menu there, click again. We're on cut, that's expanded metal, and then that's gouge. So we got three different options for this unit. We're gonna obviously cut today. Go back into that, hit back. We're back into this way. So very simple screen, easy to see. I mean, everything's clear. Very nice setup, uh, very simple. Uh, what I wanted to show you guys too on the, on the shoulder strap, we uh, set this up here just a minute ago, but actually it's a roll pin holding that strap in so it slides into a slot in the back and you just put it in and you pull it in there tight and it locks it in place. So the thing weighs 28 pounds, very light. I mean, you can see it, it is not heavy at all. Uh, so easily it can be used on job sites. Um, three year warranty on this unit. Uh, another thing I, I really like is that on the top of the unit here, they, they display all the parts lists of everything that you're gonna need. So whether you're gouging, or just standoff guides, everything that you have, every part number is there. So and it's actually a very robust sticker. Seems like it'll hold up over time. I see a lot of this stuff, it wears out and then people are like, well, what part do I need? They call us, we obviously figure it out for them, but it's just much nicer. You got the part number, you know what you need. Like I said, three year warranty. Duty cycle on this unit, um, at 45 amps, is, it's about 45% at 230 volts. So. It's, it's doing a lot. I mean, that's that's pretty good news cycle on a plasma cutter. Uh, you need air, you need 8 to 120 PSI feeding this unit, um, and you need quite a bit cubic feet per minute also. So you keep that in mind when you're specking out air compressors, that sort of thing. It, this is engine drive compatible, so they say their 330 MPX will run this unit as well, and obviously you need an air air drive or air compressor to keep it going. Let me show you on this, on this side satchel before we jump into cutting with this. Um, we'll link this down below. Pretty cool accessory. It's actually made out of a real heavy duty canvas. Um, it's very nice, nicely sewn together. Uh, it's got a carabiner on the side. It's, it's actually really, really nice. So that unbuckles there. How this goes on. It's pretty cool. It just it buckles right around the handle. And then you can put obviously your consumable kit, your ground cable, your torch, and I'll show you here torch here is a thread on a torch um, so just on threads but it's nice that it's not a solid mount thing it's actually a thread on torch um, so that way you can remove it for portability and then throw that in there you can see it fits perfectly down in there um, then we can buckle that up I'll throw the ground clamp in there too so everything fits in here it's, it's pretty nice. I, I really highly recommend this. If you guys are going to be on a job site or you're going to be somewhere that you don't want to, you want to keep everything kind of bundled up, 
tucked away. It's got pretty nice snaps on there. And then everything tucks away on the side of that. So pretty awesome little thing. Or we'll undo the air here just for this cover. So the cover says it's a small machine cover. Obviously it fits some other units that they make. They're again real heavy duty canvas. Got some nice large pockets. But it does fit with that side satchel on there. Pretty awesome. You can see you can tuck it down in there. A lot of people like covers, keep the dust off the machine, keep them out of the environment in your garage or out on the job job site. Um, they are just nice. They, they, and it's kind of almost like a waxed canvas, so um, very heavy duty. We'll pop that back off, it's pretty cool. So it comes with an air fitting already. Um, it's an IM air connection on the back. So depending on what you run in your garage or run on the job site, um, just got to be mindful of what, what it comes with. Uh, that might not fit everyone's air chuck fitting, just so you know. Um, but let's get this uh, gun pulled out and uh, I'll get it hooked up and I'm going to try out my new gear here. I got the Omni Shield by Lincoln uh, with a Shade 5 lens in it. These are awesome. We sell quite a few of these. I've used several of these. Um, very nice because it covers down past your chin. Shade 5 so you're not getting uh, real bright light in your eyes. Also got a set of brand new Lincoln Electric cut resistant gloves. We're going to try those out too. Really nice. Uh, feel really nice on your hands. And obviously I got my welding jacket here. Leather sleeves. Awesome jacket. Those are great. And then on that consumable kit, came with a wrench. Now that wrench, uh, just hang on to that. You actually change your electrode out with the wrench. It's got a flat spot on there. We've got our nozzles and our swirl ring. And then obviously we'll link down all the other consumables that you need to run with this. These are the most used consumables. That's why they throw them in the, in the kit to start out with. Let me get this thing set up. We'll go get, her, get it cut in here. All right, so I got her all hooked up here. Got 45 amps on the machine. Roughly a half inch plate with some weld on it and about 110 PSI. Let's get this thing a try here. pretty well I uh, cut through that steel really well um, so all in all I, I mean I like the unit for the price point that it is um, for you guys in your garage or out in the field uh, it's very light it's very portable uh, just you need air you gotta adjust your air pressure those are uh, you know one of the downsides to this unit is, is you do have to adjust your air pressure um, but it's really not that big a deal so whether you're doing Cutting or gouging, you gotta go back and forth. Obviously, you're gonna need more air for gouging. Another thing that I don't care much for is the standoff guide on this. Um, that ring that just slides on. I'm not saying it's a, it's horrible, but you get some uneven surfaces. Um, this is very nice for just flat plate, but when you get some uneven stuff, it kind of, it's a little bit trickier to jog over top of that. And then also, on, on, on the not. Not a bad thing, but is the electrode on here is actually thread on. Um, and you need, to, you need to hang on to that little wrench to uh, unthread that electrode. Um, I just see it, they're not gonna hang on to that wrench, but it's not a bad design and it actually cuts really well. And for, like I said, the price point, you can't go wrong with it. I mean, it is a very nice machine, recommended five eighths, it'll sever three quarter. So you're, you're doing a lot of cutting and most people they're not cutting that thick anyways, you know, 14 gauge on up to quarter inch kind of thing. Um, but all in all, very nice machine. Um, and it, when it, it's, a, it's a very good 230 power, uh, which is nice. And you got all the power in the world underneath this thing. So if you got any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Do your best, and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for some more.